We are now joined by practitioner and women's rights activist Bukola Oshigibo. Uh, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. All right. A really sad situation in Afghanistan, but, but let's um, try to understand what might be the plight of women and girls in Afghanistan uh, at the moment. Given um, any conflict situation anywhere, women and girls and children, so to say, are always um, at the receiving end because, you see, any conflict situation increases the vulnerability of women. Um, Take, for example, um, where a situation whereby um, there's need to escape a particular situation. I don't foresee any woman wanting to leave her children, even if it's one, a child, behind in any situation. That's one. That's an additional burden for women um, in conflict situations. Also, um, any conflict situation has an impact on the health of a woman. So take, for example, um, a pregnant woman in this kind of situation. Yes, as much as we understand that some of the cultural and religious practices um, forbid or prevent women from accessing maternal services, for those that want to access the maternal services, conflict situations has impeded that access. And so it also, like I said, increases the vulnerability right. of that woman. Also, it has an effect on their economic um, um, well-being. So a woman that runs a business is in conflict situation, definitely cannot access um, such business and then she cannot trade and she cannot make purchases, she cannot um, transact business, so to say. And so that's another effect. For girls specifically, it affects their education. Um, again, it takes me back to the discussion of cultural and religious um, inhibitions in a country that is gradually tilting towards westernization and then suddenly pulls back to what it right. used to do before. All right, let, let's, not, let's, let's, um, let's quickly then, you know, share, you know, if there is a possibility that some of these rights of uh, women and children can be protected under the rule of the Taliban. You see, the point is, in a same society, it, it takes effort, it takes advocacy, it takes a lot of things to even advocate for the enforcement of human rights of an individual, let alone the right of women that is still being at the forefront advocating for the rights of women. So in a situation, in a conflict situation with respect to the Taliban takeover now, it is very, very bleak, so to say, or near impossible to say that the protection of uh, the right of women is guaranteed. It's definitely going to um, has an, have an impact, I beg your pardon, it's going to have an impact on the rights of women because it's going to more like impact on the gains that have been made in the previous years. So getting uh, the possibility of rights of women being enforced under this situation is very, very close to impossible. Is there, is there um, expectations that you would have from other world powers? Uh, with regards uh, protecting, you know, the main victims of this uh, crisis, and that is uh, women and children. Would you want any influence from other Middle Eastern countries, or maybe from the from the U.S.? Oh well, the withdrawal of the U.S. in itself has made open, has made porous other interventions from um, other potential countries that might want to offer help. Anyone that wants to offer help at this moment will have to understudy the situation before they can push whatever help um, that might be in the offing. And in the immediate, I'm not sure any country or any power will want to jump into um, that terrain in the immediate, not even anytime soon, because definitely you would want to understand why would the U.S. want to pull out, what are the implications, economic implications, political implications, security-wise, and all of that. All of this have to be looked at before making the decision of offering whatever help by anyone. All right. Bukola Oshidibo, thank you very much for joining us, um, and uh, wish you a great day ahead. Thank you for having me. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.